When your child goes to their 12-month appointment, you can expect a lot of vaccinations to be given. It's recommended that your child receive the hepatitis B shot, Haemophilus influenza type B, pneumococcal vaccine, polio vaccine, MMR, varicella, and hepatitis A. You asked a really good question. You're wondering if um, the vaccinations can all be given together, if you should um, worry about delaying a couple of them because the side effects might be compounded by giving multiple vaccines at once. And I wanna read you a statement that's um, given by the American Academy of Pediatrics. They said that a new report from the Institute of Medicine should reassure parents that the recommended childhood immunization schedule is safe and provides the best protection for children from infectious diseases. The panel looked at all scientific evidence on the entire childhood immunization schedule and concluded that it is safe. Parents should know that immunizing their children on time significantly reduces the risk of potentially dangerous infectious diseases such as measles, whooping cough, and influenza. Under the current childhood immunization schedule, children can receive as many as 24 immunizations by their second birthday and may receive up to five injections during a single doctor's visit. So um, it's definitely okay to get all of the recommended shots at one visit. Now, there are side effects that are associated with different shots, and you're right, it's normal for kids to get fevers with a couple of the shots that your, your child's going to be getting, but it's not like getting um, a couple of shots that might cause fever would make it go higher or something. The measles, mumps, and rubella shot um, can cause fever about one out of every six people who gets the shot will get a fever, a mild rash, one out of every 20 people, and sometimes there's swelling in, in the glands of the neck, but that's one out of every 75. So if you see those reactions, it's not necessarily a cause for alarm, but it's always good to bring it up with the pediatrician if you're concerned. But as for the fever and the pain at the injection site, those things are pretty typical and some things that have helped at our house that are actually recommended by most pediatricians is to give over-the-counter pain relievers that not only reduces the pain, but also keeps their temperature low and you know keeps them from feeling really sick from having a fever. So ask your doctor before you leave the doctor's office what medications would be appropriate and what dose is appropriate based on your child's um, age and size. And also put your child in the bath that night and rub the injection sites gently. And all of this might help your child be a little more comfortable with the side effects that they might have from receiving the injections. Overall though, Vaccines save lives, and the, the, the potential side effects from, from vaccinations are in most cases very mild, and serious side effects are rare, but getting the disease could be very serious, and so it's definitely worth getting the vaccine. If you have any more questions about the um, individual vaccinations that your child will be given, you can go check things out on the Centers for Disease Control website, which is www.cdc.gov vaccines. And there's tons of good information there. Or you can ask your pediatrician. But if you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page and recommend us to your friends and family too.